Hello everybody, and today I'm going to show you how to do what I posted in the last video. It's putting smoke behind a person, like for me, it was me <laughs> in the last video. Or you could put it behind an object or whatever you want. Let's go ahead and open a new general file and select everything and delete it. And then we can go ahead and we can add a new one. We can go to visual effects and add in a motion tracking tab. And then we can go ahead and open our footage and open it. Then you can go ahead and click prefetch. You can click set scene frames. And as you can see, it's still. And in the previous video that I did, it was moving, but I just added camera motion in Blender instead. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and go to the compositing tab and click use nodes. And we will not be using the render layer, so you can delete that then you can add in a movie clip and you can duplicate that and move it down and for the first one you can open your footage and then drag it into the compositing and then you can add in a alpha over and plug that between those then you can go ahead and open your effect in my case it's the smoke then you're going to go ahead and hover your mouse over here and push control shift and left click and that will add in a viewer node for you and then you can go V push V and it will zoom out or alt V to zoom in and then you can go ahead and plug this into the bottom one and then if you scrub through it will composite and you see the smoke so now we have the smoke in front of our footage our normal footage but now we want it we want to take out the white we don't want white there because that would be it would look like crap it would not be good so we're going to go ahead and add in a mix node and plug it into here and then plug this to the bottom one your normal footage to this one and then you can go ahead and go to like frame 94 for me and so you can see the smoke and then click on mix and change it to darken and you'll see and really you'll have to mess around with this it could be multiply so it's multiply so you want to change it to multiply if it doesn't work, you just change it to another one in that section. So there's three, sec three in that section, three in that one, and all those different ones. Then you can go ahead and add in a transform node and plug it in right after that multiply. And you can move it on the Y value to move it up. Ooh. You actually want to put it in before the multiply. Otherwise, it'll do it for this movie clip too. But we only want it for this one. And so as you can see, it moved it up. So we'll just crank it up more and you can also move it on the X value negative since we want it to go to the left. And lastly, you can scale it up a little bit if you want. And you can also angle it a little bit. And once you're happy with that, you can see we have the smoke now composited into our scene. But if you scroll forward a little more, so if you scroll forward here, you can see that I'm actually in back of the smoke and we do not want that. So. In this next part, I will show you how to put yourself in front of the smoke instead of in back. So for this next part, you're going to want to go ahead and move over to the motion tracking tab again and go ahead and flip it from tracking to mask. And then you can create a new mask and call it whatever really. I'll just call it mask one. And then pretty much you're going to have to mask yourself out for the whole time you are in front of the smoke so probably about here you could start masking it about here yeah so you created a mask and now you want to actually make the mask so you push control and then left click and it'll create a vertex and then you can keep doing that along the head and since the smoke starts right about here and then only goes up from there you don't have to mask all the way down you can just mask till about here and then go ahead and cut across and then to close this mask, you push Alt-C and it'll close it up. To blur it a little bit, you can select everything and push Alt-S. And then you can scale that feather a little bit. And you just want it a little bit. You don't want it too much, just like a little bit like so. And then it'll kind of blur the edges to make it not look so sharp and not good. And you want to go ahead and click Automatic Keyframing. And for the frames that you don't need the mask, because the smoke won't be a problem, you can just uh, move the mask and move it to like off the scene. 
And once you're done, it should look something like this. So now that we have the mask, we can go ahead and move back to the compositing tab and add in a mask and put it right here and select our mask, mask one that we made and then plug it into the factor of the alpha over. And then you can go ahead and go back to where I would be in back of the smoke and then we can see how it looks. And after we plug it into there, you can see that if we render it out here, it looks um, horrible. So we can go ahead and add in a invert and plug it in right here. And as you can see, you are in front of the smoke now. We can go ahead and add in a blur node. We want just the normal blur, put it in there, and then on the X and Y values, we can crank it up a little bit. And after blurring it, it, I'd say it looks pretty good and so you can go ahead and go to the output settings and switch it to a video format and the encoding if you have sound you can switch it to real time and I like high quality and then you can go ahead and switch this to MPEG-4 and then down in audio it says no audio but we want some MP3 and then you can save it where you want we can just call this smoke behind person and I'll just save mine to the desktop and then you can go ahead and set the FPS of what your camera was and I think mine was around 50 and then you can just go ahead and click render or you can just go control F12 which is faster unless you don't know shortcuts then you can go ahead and render it out and we'll take a look once it's done. And now that it is done, you can go ahead and click on render and view the animation. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below and comment on any other videos you would like to see if you have anything in particular. And that's it for now and I will see you later.